What's up YouTube, ProTech here, back with another StarCraft 2 video for you today. Starting a new series here on Learn How to Play Random Team. Without further ado, let's get into it. So at the start of this game, I know that I'm playing against ZP. So I'm gonna go for the supply depot at the front at 14 supply and I'm going to go for the refinery at 15 supply. From here I'm gonna build a barracks at 16 supply. I'm going to saturate my refinery and I'm going to SCV up to 19. So typically against ZP you'll want to open with a Reaper expand. And there are a plethora of builds that you can do that are viable. But in this particular game, I have decided to go for the uh, quick hellions into the bio transition. And the idea behind the build is you get out the quick two hellions and you try to snipe probes. That is the thought process here. But you're going to reaper at 19, and then you're going to you're going to command center at 20. And you're going to send your Reaper across the map, you're going to scout around, you're going to try to get some damage in, and you're going to factory at 20 supply. From here, you're going to 21 refinery. You're going to reactor at 21, and you're going to rally your next supply depot to the ramp, which is at 22 supply. Now, because I know what the races are, um, I've already I've already opted for my build even before I've scattered anything, because I know it's viable and I know it's it works. But from here, I'm just kind of scouting around, trying to get some damage in, checking the tech. I see a Twilight Council. I see my teammates sending two adepts across the map, and so. I should, in theory, be able to get some damage in with my Hellions. I see a fast Twilight Council, and so this could generally mean Quick Dark Templar. Usually it means Quick Dark Templar if the Protoss player has built um, one gateway, but it doesn't necessarily mean that. Oftentimes, what you'll see in this current iteration of StarCraft is blind stalkers. And so the bio transition can be pretty good here. So here I'm just trying to pick off workers. And I don't really do too much of a good job here because he, the Protoss player went for three stalkers. Normally they go for two. And if they go for two, you can get a lot of damage in. He did kind of a weird build that you don't really see often. But the bottom line is, is I didn't really do any damage here. So it's kind of like time to panic. And that's why I decided to build the Marauder. I don't usually build a Marauder, but because that did no damage, I need to have some kind of tank for this push. You almost always see this speed wing attack. So 
So the Marauder can act as really good tank for your teammates' units. But it's a gas investment, so, you know, this early in the game, you really want tanks and medevacs and stuff like that, so building a Marauder is not the greatest. Getting supply cap because I'm a noob. And then from here, you get up the siege tank for defense, and then you use your bio to do drops or be aggressive. And had I done a little better with the Hellion aggression, I would have made uh, engineering bays a little faster. But I didn't trade very efficiently. So here I decided to attack, right, because... I didn't notice the stalkers up there. And so when I pushed, I didn't really think an attack was going to come. Of significant value, right? But as it turns out, I've got blink stalkers and... But my units are so far across the map, it's not worth it to turn around, so I just opted to kill the third base. And I am just a really bad player, so I lost my CC there. If I had lifted, it would have been fine. But to be fair, I was about 8 hours into playing, so I wasn't playing the greatest. So I kill off the, the third here, and then immediately send my units to the uh, main base. And I do this because it forces a recall, and I know that the, the stalker count was really low. So going for the drop in the main was perfectly fine. Because I'll be able to abuse Protoss' SimCity and get really good trades while I rebuild my natural. So as you can see, I'm tucking all of my units like in the little crevices of the base. So that attack was wildly successful. And it basically just set the Protoss back into the Stone Age. So that means even though my expansion is gone, the follow-up push that I do with my teammate with 1-1 will basically just end the game. And all I have to do is just keep back running. So I can see that my army, my army and my teammates army is really good. And I know that the Zerg player has invested a whole metric ass ton into speedlings. And so this push that we do here should in theory win the game. Not to mention I wiped out a bunch of the Zerg's army when I did that drop. And I also killed a lot of the Protoss's, uh, Protoss' workers and a lot of his army too, so this push should, should in theory end the game. Push up the ramp here, there's nothing there. And that is game over. GG. So anyway, um... The series that I'm going to start doing here is going to be um, how to play random team. And basically all I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to be taking replays of games that I play and just kind of commentating the thought process throughout the course of the game. So if you guys like the, if you guys like the, uh, the concept of the videos and if you like the content, do hit that thumbs up and uh, let, me in the, let me know in the comments what you think. Once again, thank you all for tuning in, and I will see you with the next video. Have a good day, boys. See you later.